Okay. What's going on, Jay? Oh, well, we're gonna go uh, see about getting some Barracuda parts, correct? Let's do that. That's correct. Let's go do that. pieces and hopefully it's just still where it's at laying on the floor mm -hmm. just grab it and take it back to the garage and pull the stuff that we need off of it yeah we need a few bits what do you need you can recall just some chrome pieces to hold the wiper switch in and oh, the hazard okay. switch in and right. the uh headlight switch is that the green car or the red car you recall the dash being yeah. busted Nice keep the red car. car. Okay, well, it'd, be, it'd be nice to keep that all kind of intact unless it's just total trash, but oh, we might have plans for that red car, right? I think Maybe. the red car, it'd be nice to make the two into one. Oh, right, right. Or just go full on drag car with it. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. That'd probably be the easiest way to do that. Up, yeah. Anyway, we're getting up here. We'll see you at the Cudas. Excuse me, Barracudas. Yeah. That's how it is. There's a cat in the green. Get back, get. There's two cats. Oh my god. That smells like a cat box in there. Are you gonna make it? Okay, I'll wait here for you. Hey. Okay. Hey, you wanna hurry up? I gotta pee then, too, real quick here. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> A fresh cat turned right up. Are you kidding me? That's bullshit. This one's all busted. Yeah, is it? Okay. The cat shit one's got the dash that I want the parts for. The cat shit dash? It's too bad. What's that? That's all busted. Yeah, I know. But I tell you what, <coughs> even parts are, they're good for that. I'm getting closer. Oh my god. I'm not getting out of this hole. Okay, sure, sure. Mm, Illinois car. It was. Mm -hmm. Got these. Got the system was too bad. There's a hell of a dent there in it. Hmm. Is there something to sit on? Hmm. Get in there. Yeah. There's cat shit in there. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, son of a! Why would you do that? What? Why would a cat just shit where he lives? <sighs> mm hmm.
goodbye supplies. I mean, what, buddy? What? The plastic's not breaking any less. Right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. <sighs> hey. What? Can you grab them dash screws right there? Yeah, it was. Okay. This has got the cigarette lighter in the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different. 68 and 7 is different. Yeah. I need these. The steering column's in the... Padding. Did you bring a cutter with you? No. Oh, now I'm recording. You weren't recording the entire time. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Blake? No, I'm not kidding. What is you. wrong with that thing? I don't know. It's, what the hell? It's new to you. It's bullshit. I push a button. Red light flashing. Red light at night. So anyway, we scavenged what we could out of that one. Hopefully that'll give us the most of what we need. And if the boys are doing what we think they're doing, we'll take this moment to check in on them. You bet. Hey. We going? Yep. I'm here with Jeremy and we're <laughs> lost <laughs> out in the woods of McNair, Iowa. <laughs> These <laughs> goddamn phones would work. <laughs> Alright, we're back in HQ. Jay's cleaning underneath <laughs> the Barracuda. Looks good. Makes yeah. it look better. You bet. We got our dash pieces out. Yeah, we want these pieces out here. I got my pocket. Uh, um, want them in that? Yeah. All right. And when I feel the energy, I'll go in there and finish that. But right now, I'm pulling apart these uppers and spindles for j -Bo's disco tech. Mm. So look at us. We're working on the Barracuda. Yeah. It's been like two weeks of, uh, what, sub-zero temperatures? Just too cold. That thing there won't recuperate or keep us warm. And it's just been really, really, really cold. Cold. But anyway. Yeah. Ty and Jeremy, they're at, uh, what, Sears's, I think? Yeah. And we just got done going to Phil's. So, and uh, picking up a few parts for this. So, what else we do? Oh, you got your thermal quad ready for... Going down in Jay's basement for a rebuild. Yeah, so we'll clean it up a little bit more, take it apart, throw a new kit in it. Right? Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be sucking the hood down. Yeah. Right now, I don't know what I'd like to do is get the get the exhaust on this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Going around and grab that or what or what else we got up there? The exhaust, front brake stuff. Carburetor stuff, dash stuff, carpet. Carpet can come down too. I'd like to lay that carpet out and get it to lay down, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just leave it loose. We can that way we can peel it up if we need to drill any holes in the floor or whatnot. So right. make oh. it so number one. <laughs> mm -hmm. There. Everything's falling around you. You got it on maximum. I got it set to kill. Mm. There we go. That's it. Mm -hmm. Then we'll pop these out. Those are threaded in, actually. Yeah. Alrighty. Then these might have to burn these out. So imagine you just torch them, set them outside, fire them up. That'll get them bushings out, I believe. Here's that 
tool for spinning them off. So, what's that tool? Right there. For oh, right. them and nuts. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Actually, that's for something else, but it's going to work on this, I think. Yeah. <coughs> then I'm going to buff these up, tape them off, and shoot them black. All right, J-Bo. With some rust only. Ooh. Right. Yep. Oh, I'm not sitting inside the car underneath the dash doing this. Mm-hmm. So anyway, what the hell? Uh, went ahead and filled the radiator up. Uh, well, not a big deal, but for crying out loud. So went to the store, picked up two gallons of this. This is a concentrate. And the concentrate is like $7 a jug. Uh -huh. And I picked up two, two jugs of uh, distilled water, okay? That's a dollar, so you got Eight bucks. Eight bucks for the two, and you you basically mix them 50 50. Uh, you end up with uh four dollars, four dollars for your own pre mixed concentrate or pre mixed 50 50 uh, antifreeze. They sell ready to go stuff that's already diluted for like 12 bucks, uh, 12 bucks for one of these, yeah. So, I mean, your car is going to require, or you know, if your car is like this, it's going to require probably four gallons, that's 48 bucks. Uh, so do the math on it, Blake. What do we spend? Uh, not less. $14. $14 for four gallons, roughly. So they must think you're stupid, but... Well, this advice is probably more for our southern folk friends that have recently experienced this A cabin. polar vortex yeah. and whatnot. Mm, sorry, Always Eric. Always run coolant. Right on. All right. So anyway, Blake's working away at these spindles here. Mm -hmm. Polishing Looking them good. Well. We're gonna hit this with a wire wheel, paint them up. All right, I'm gonna get some exhaust under this thing, so I'll talk to you later. He goes, I'll do, I'll do 40 bucks a piece. On the doors? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Well, let's go look at those doors, eh? Yeah, we yanked them, yanked them right off. Oh, did not not a bad deal or what? No, we got we drove the truck right to them. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, really? Oh yeah, a little four wheel action, but. <clears throat> Yeah, we drove the, the Jeep to our location. Look at all the mud on it. Oh my God, it's terrible. But this is the worst one. You know, they don't look too bad. I mean, well, look at that one's immaculate. That was, which is the messed up one. This one. This one is, okay. Yeah, it's got there. a little rust on the bottom. A little rust on the right. bottom, but from the outside. Right there. Yeah, from the outside, they'll function. That ain't bad, yeah. Wow, <laughs> the hinges cool. need all the oil we have. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. But yeah, we just... You need some of Jeremy's special lubrication. Right. I gotta go upstairs and grab that. <laughs> it it took us almost 40 miles to get to Garber. Oh, to get to Garber. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What? We, we were on a road called Jigsaw, and then another road called like Jasmine or something. It was yeah, fucking Jasmine, back Jigsaw. and forth, down and around, and up and over. And really? Oh, it was a fun trip, Iris. then, eh? That was fun. Right. It was a nice drive. I we spotted was... a car away out in the woods. We were Tyler like, spotted, yeah. yeah Do you get pictures of it? No. no Did you guys get any off. coverage at all? Or? No, we were forgetting. For, we should have brought, yeah, we should have, because there was some kind of cool stuff. Oh, they yeah. even took us up on top of the hill, and it was like a four-wheel drive trailer. Yeah. It was like was really fun. cool. I was mentioning to him, I said, hey, I, I want to come back and film. Right, right. Like, do like you a, okay with that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like a hidden junkyards. They're still out there. Right. So Wait, what, is, we, what did we find in Garber, too? A Challenger Charger? Yeah. We did. Well, what? A shell. It's all. Yeah. Well, it's but it's there. The well, like a 70s? Fuselage, or? yeah. Okay. But it's... It's, you can see what it is. Right. And the world's largest rabbit living in the engine bay. <laughs> we had cats living in the Cudas when we went to look at those. <laughs> so there's a big there's a big lump right in the, the driver's seat that like what like lump covered up covered yeah, it up with snow on. or whatever. No, I sat on it. What'd you get? He sat on it. Yeah, you can smell it on him, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we're unboxing the exhaust here. Anyway, this is two and a half, it's two and a half inch aluminized uh, steel exhaust, so 
and the bends aren't real bad and so on and so forth looks like the mufflers are two and a half in two and a half out uh, these are actually claimed to be manufactured in Liftfield, Minnesota. Wow. What do you think of that? And then like here's it. where it gets weird. Is that where it's that Since the headers that we've got actually came with collectors, and then we went ahead and drilled a bung for our uh, fuel oxygen sensor. Yeah. The instructions right off the bat, they tell you that, uh, oh, put the, put the long collector on the driver's side and the short one on the passenger side. To clear the cross member, it says for some. I have no idea. Is it, I don't know if that's a big deal or not or what. But we can take it back out, do it again. Well, just cut the extra off the pipe. It's not like they're flanged. You know, just whack off. Aren't they though? I don't know. I'm gonna lay it out and see what the hell it looks like, and then okay. if we got if we gotta swap that out, then we gotta swap it out. So no big deal. That's what I'm up to. So you got a blaze going out there? A little bit, yeah. Jesus! Hmm. Blake's removing the bushings out of the upper uh, control arms. You know, I got a press. I don't know. Will that work? <laughs> yeah. Will it work better than this? Yeah, because all that cleaning he just did. Oh, yeah. He's got to do it all over again. <laughs> now it's all, yeah, soot it up and <laughs> what have you. Hot rubber. That's all right. Uh, we got to let these kids learn the hard way, don't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you got a little press thing, don't you? I do have a press. I wonder if that'll, uh, I wonder if that'll do it. This is always, it always seems like this is a bitch, I guess, for some reason. Yeah, it is, but... Anyway. Holding on it. Like right now, okay. Oh! <laughs> Oh it's getting tighter now. It's getting cooler. Oh, shut the hell up. What? There it goes. It did get tighter. No, it didn't. So we had to heat that ball joint up. And by we, I mean Jeremy had to heat that ball joint up while he's drinking a beer and starting the place on fire. There we go. Fire's out. Yeah. Open the door. I don't know. Ooh. Nice. That took a fucking oomph, though, from the breaker bar before it went. <coughs> right. But at least we know what's what. Luffy, Lucy, righty tighty. Yeah, it's right hand threats. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, I'll show you what I got going on down here. Mm hmm. Oh, damn it. Ooh, well, there's something really hot. What is it? Wow, the G-bar came off the ratchet finally. The... Oh, yeah? Ouch! Alright, so... Kind of as per the instructions, a lot of guys probably already know this, but... Uh, the driver's side is farther forward, the header collector is. And then the passenger side is more toward the rear end. So... And that kind of... That kind of messed me up because I like things to be symmetrical. And in this case, it's not. And I expected it to be symmetrical. Ew. Not that it really matters, but sometimes I have issues with Is it the symmetry. What? No, bud. No, no, no. It's, it, no, no, no. Actually, this works out better. So, Anyway, on this side here, they give you a driver's side collector in the kit that's a little bit longer for some reason because it's the kit's designed to bolt up to hooker header hooker headers. <coughs> okay. uh, these are some of Summit brand headers. Uh, Summit, Summit brand kit. You would think it would just be a kind of a plug and play kind of deal, but I can kind of see it. So this is the, the cross member area where, where the exhaust system should go. And so I actually made the template so that it fits right in the very center of the cross member. So that's that's going to work better. It's too bad that you got to do this, but sometimes you got to do it. You just got to. We're going to have to cut and weld this piece of uh, piece of the exhaust pipe so to make it fit better. Uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to affect me uh, further down, but I think it's going to kind of help because I kind of test fitted everything, and this passenger side is kind of a bitch. So so we'll take it from there. But anyway, and that's what I got going. Now Jeremy's starting some more stuff on fire up there. 
We'll go take a look at that. Oh yeah, that's not going to get close to heat, okay. What? The camera? Yeah. Oh, why not? Oh. <laughs> Well, if it's anything like the GoPro 8, it can't get close to the ground either, otherwise it'll break. <laughs> right. Yeah, no gravity. Yeah, no gravity. <laughs> right? No gravity. <laughs> I wish we had um, the new yeah. doors Stop for the hippie van. Got yeah, those as clean as I can get them. Then I'm working on these. Jeremy got the balls out. I burnt the bushings out. We got new Moog balls and bushings. So I'm gonna finish getting these all cleaned up. Still look like shit. And hopefully next time you see them, I'll be painting them. Status report. Here's this one. I haven't even started on it yet. Here's what we got so far. Nothing but elbow grease. She's gonna look good. Keep at her. Blake's having some difficulties. Yeah. Tyler, stop killing the fucking battery. <laughs> hey, it's fully charged. Says you. So, J Bo's back just in time. You bet. Here's, yep, I just got here. Finished product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Them bearings are going to go on so fast, Jeremy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for the help, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Would... I just worked on disco tech stuff. Right on. You know, I don't Good know job. what those guys did today. We'll never know. Every team man. All right. See you later. Bye bye. You're ripping off Scott's speed chat now. How's that? Bye bye. Bye bye. No, he does not. Yeah. Every and episode. scene. What just happened here, Blake? Uh, Jeremy not told tight? me not to take. I'm like, well, Dirk fucking found it. Thought it was over here in the gasket. And I'm like, oh, this is loose. Jeremy said, don't take it off. So I did this. You know, that's, that's normal. <laughs> so there's some moisture on the and, engine oh, now? My natural reaction is when Jeremy tells me to do something. <laughs> Dude, the opposite thing. Exactly. It's like I'm working with my brother's pool kids. down there. Yeah, it'll make its way into the distributor area and down yeah, into the oil. Just, it's like I'm working with my brother's kids here. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> That's funny. Picture of his face. That should be a T-shirt. <laughs> Bad Tree Productions. It's like I'm working with my brother's kids. That's Tybo's shirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, right? No, that is. That's Ty's shirt. Right, right. It's like I'm working with my brother's kid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Fuck it all up. And who's getting shit done around here? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not going around chasing after that's, monster that, rabbits that scare the shit out of you. <laughs> that thing had the head the size of a cantaloupe, dude. He was a scary rabbit, man. I was scared. Yeah, they can run fast. It was it was Bugs Bunny with Elmer Fun shotgun. I can't run anymore. I'm old. <laughs> and decrepit. <a> <laughs>